Hey guys, Google's exclusive Pixel Launcher is a slick and minimal app, and many of us enjoy using it. But it comes with certain limitations, like the integration of the Google Now from left swipe. And unless your phone is rooted, there is no way to fully enjoy this app. Only recently, developer Till Kotman has finally found a way around this issue. By recreating the Pixel Launcher from scratch, using stock Android's open source Launcher Trees code. It is basically the Pixel Launcher with the integrated Google Now page and some more additional features that Pixel Launcher from Google doesn't have, like icon pack support and the ability to hide apps. This app doesn't require to have a rooted phone and it is fairly easy to install and use. First, make sure you have the unknown sources enabled in your settings. Then go ahead and tap on the link in the description of this video. Scroll down a little bit and download the latest version available. Currently the APK here is named as Travis and the version number. But once you install it, it will appear in your phone under the name Lawn Chair. When installation is done, press on your home button. From here you'll be prompted to choose a new home screen app. So select the Lawn Chair from the list and choose Always if prompted. Now if you long press on the home screen and go to settings, you will find a pretty decent set of customization features. Some of the most notables being the ability to change your icon pack, adding or reducing columns and rows, changing the icon scaling and some gesture settings too. And of course, this being a clone of the Pixel Launcher, naturally you are going to have that promised left swipe gesture for accessing the Google Now feed as well as the swipe up gesture to open the app drawer. The settings menu is pretty straightforward, so I will assume you can discover the rest of the features by yourself. One feature that I found to be missing here is the Pixels weather widget. As you can see, the widget here is capable of showing only the current date, and which is also non-interactable, so if you tap on it, nothing happens. If you want to know how to acquire a decent looking weather widget to have on this awesome launcher, go ahead and watch my tutorial which I will link in the description of this video. This widget, as you can see, resembles exactly the Pixels weather widget. Plus, you can customize it as you please, including having to be able to launch the Google's full weather forecast with single tap or your alarm app when you tap on the date. Also, you should note that this launcher is not a final release and bugs are expected. This is it guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. I'm usually replying quite quickly. And if everything was clear and understandable, then maybe leave a like. I'd be grateful. Thank you and have a nice day.